Real Housewife of New Jersey star Melissa Gorgia has lived in some beautiful homes over the years, as you'd probably expect from any cast member on the series. In 2012, at the height of Melissa and her husband Joe Gorgia's financial struggles, they listed their former luxury mansion in Montville, New Jersey for $3.8 million. However, since 2019, the couple has been living in another beautiful house, this one on the waterfront of Jersey Shore, and today we'll be checking out her real estate. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Melissa Gorgia is a TV personality, author, designer, businesswoman, and more, best known for starring on The Real Housewives of New Jersey. She joined the cast back in its third season in 2011, where we've got to witness her lavish lifestyle on screen. Melissa also started a fashion line in 2015 called Envy, which is often featured on the series. The online shop features dresses, bottoms, tops, loungewear, and much more, while Melissa added menswear to the brand in 2020. Considering her reality TV success, former singing career, books she's wrote, her business, and properties she's invested in, her net worth was estimated at about $10 million as of 2021. She and her husband, Joe Gorgia, did have some financial struggles back in 2012, which led them to selling their mansion in Montville, New Jersey. However, their current estate isn't anything to complain about, as Melissa lives in a million dollar home on the Jersey Shore waterfront, boasting a mini beach club in their yard. Hey everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and I'm bringing you another exclusive exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this one checking out the homes of Real Housewives of New Jersey star Melissa Gorgia. If you like this one, you can check out other recent drops we did on Famous Housewives like Kelly Dodd and Larsa Pippen which we'll link to at the end. Be sure to subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new content daily. As always, you can follow me over on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. First, let's check out her former mansion. Back in 2007, Melissa and Joe worked out 950k for a 2.25 acre plot of land, which would end up becoming their custom-built 9,100 square foot palace in Montville, New Jersey. The lavish colonial estate in the exclusive pond section of Montville featured a grand foyer with double bridal staircase that extended to all three floors, sleek white marble underfoot, and a perfectly centered crystal table. The gorgeous entry area was nicely touched with an enormous vintage chandelier soaring above with arched ceilings that are detailed with gold accents. And here's a fun fact. Melissa once admitted that the gold tones and glitter touches were inspired by the movie Scarface. Say hello to my little friend. Say hello to my little friend! The entrance couldn't get more dramatic than that, ladies and gents. Are you guys Scarface fans? Cause I sure am. What a classic. Anyways, Melissa's former abode included a number of formal living and dining room spaces packed with all of the essentials, including plush furnishings, custom fittings and fixtures, more chandeliers, and sleek fireplaces. There were high-tech upgrades and flat screen TVs for entertainment, as well as oversized windows throughout common spaces for natural light. One of the biggest flexes found inside the mansion was definitely her two-story great room with Juliet balconies, marble fireplace, and wet bar perfect for entertaining. I'm sure Melissa could throw plenty of housewife parties here with a lot of gossip going down. Melissa's gourmet kitchen in this home featured all high-end appliances, a stunning center island with seating, custom carved cabinets, and marble quartz countertops. Additional kitchen features include both a breakfast nook and butler's pantry, ideal for storing all the family food. If that's not enough, some other main floor entertainment spaces included a billiards room with jet black paneled wall with stone fireplace, as well as the two-story library complete with towering custom carved antique wood shelves and enormous floor to ceiling windows. I gotta say that I love this library. Upstairs, Melissa and Joe's former master suite offered a private sitting area, cozy fireplace, private balcony access, and vaulted ceilings. Sounds about right for a mansion style main bedroom. In addition, the master suite came with a spacious walk-in closet for all of the envy clothes Melissa needed room for, and a spa-like attached bathroom Room, included his and her sinks, double vanities with a makeup station, additional fireplace, soaking tub with a view, and a large glass rain shower. So I don't really care for bathtubs even though it's nice to have the option, but I would totally be into that rain shower. I'm jealous. While the main floor had a ton of public spaces, another area in the home ideal for entertaining was the massive finished basement. This level of the home was complete with professional bar, bar stool seating, and flat screen TV offering a luxury spot to catch the game. Step 
steps from the bar, Melissa's custom basement included large glass cabinets displaying vintage wines and a walk-in wine cellar with seating area too. Equally impressive was the plush screen room and children's TV lounge with three TVs. So there really was something for every family member down here. Additional basement amenities included a red-walled fitness room packed with all of the machines, a home beauty salon to keep that pedicure game strong, and personal recording studio worthy of bragging. Another fun fact for you, this was actually the studio where Melissa recorded a handful of tracks, including the 2011 heavily auto-tuned ditty titled On Display. While it's not those resort-style backyards in Cali or Florida we typically see in these house tours, Melissa's home exterior was actually quite stunning. This backyard offered a gorgeous pool area with stone terrace packed with classy patio furnishings. Clearly the space was perfect for throwing a pool party and included both an outdoor bar and kitchen with built-in grill overlooking the perfectly landscaped ground. Despite being an absolute stunner of a home, unloading this thing was a nightmare for Melissa and Joe. The gorgeous first listed the home back in 2012 for an optimistic $3.8 million asking price. With no takers, they listed the home again in the fall of 2017 for $3.5 million. And if you can believe it, after three years they decided to lower it yet again $2.95 million before selling it at another discount price for 2.5 million. Needless to say, taking a 1.3 million dollar hit after all the work and effort they must have put into the home, the sale was a huge loss for Melissa and Joe. Back in August of 2019, Melissa and Joe went back to their roots with a purchase of their stunning 1 million dollar waterfront Jersey Shore mansion, complete with 3,500 square feet, which serves as their current home to this day. Inside the spot boasts six bedrooms and for 1 million dollars, the couple get their very own beach club, floor to ceiling windows with loads of balconies and patios offering panoramic views of Barnegat Bay. So not too shabby for that price. This beachfront home offers a number of living and dining room spaces, fully furnished to Melissa's liking, warm fireplaces, large flat screen TVs, and Melissa's favorite piece, the giant Edison light bulb chandelier. The selling point of this place has got to be the seamless in and out flow thanks to all of the oversized windows, balconies, decks, and patios since it really embraces the Jersey Shore lifestyle. The gourmet kitchen here included stainless steel appliances, custom cabinets, marble quartz countertops, and a breakfast island with a view. Among the six bedrooms, the estate has a master suite for Melissa and Joe with sitting area, sleek fireplace, and private balcony overlooking Barnegat Bay. You'll be happy to know that even with Melissa's so-called downgrade, she didn't have to sacrifice her spacious walk-in closet space. Not to mention, her ensuite bathroom includes dual sinks, a tub with a view, and a rain shower. It's sounds a lot like the last place, so her master retreat here certainly isn't lacking. Additionally, the property also includes a playroom for the kids and a great room with flat screen TV and wet bar. This home has something for everybody. In terms of interior design, the Reality Star's second home has a clean and simple white theme throughout with touches of greenery and lemon accents. Melissa has gone on the record to say that the home's outdoor features were the selling point and when you see the pictures, you'll definitely agree. The outside patio has the look of a full marina and the pool deck drops right into the bay where the couple's boat sits parked. Of course, the deck boasts an inviting and sizable swimming pool with enough lounging chairs for a resort as well as a pool house with a wet bar. A large dining room table is situated under a covered area where the gorgeous host their huge Italian family and two fire pits are placed near the water where guests can relax and enjoy the scenery. Not to mention a cute miniature gray and white lighthouse overlooks Melissa's home and the bay. The beach estate also boasts a pool house with large flat screen TVs and a fully stocked wet bar with beer taps where the liquor is always flowing according to Melissa. There's a glowing sign on the wall there that says it was all a dream and it has a special meaning for the couple. The Real Housewives star admitted, it was truly all a dream growing up here at the Jersey Shore. Being able to now level up and have a house like this, I'm so blessed and I'm so grateful. Additional lux amenities included an outdoor barbecue area, kitchen and dining area complete with massive table. Just when you thought that was all, a dock from the pool deck leads out to the boat and dual jet skis where the couple can adventure out from the comfort of their yard. With all of those features, how do you even choose a favorite? Alright, so I think I'm going to wrap up this house tour here. We got to check out Real Housewives of New Jersey star Melissa Gorgeous Homes in Montville and Jersey 
sure, and both were super different but stunning nonetheless. What did you guys think? Which home suits Melissa more? The first custom Montville mansion with its classic feel, or her and Joe's current Jersey Shore beachfront estate? I think both have a ton to offer in their own way. While the first home had all the luxury amenities you could dream up, Melissa's current home has that amazing beach club right in her backyard. I have to admit, when I first heard that Melissa downgraded from a $3.8 million home to one that cost him only $1 million, I figured the place wouldn't hold a candle. But as it turns out, she really lucked out. Would you guys rather have that amazing backyard beach club with pool from her current house or the stacked basement level with movie theater and much more from her previous house? I gotta say, that's a really hard choice. Let me know down in the comments what you guys liked or didn't like about Melissa's home. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.